Hi guys, welcome to our Zenden. My name is Valerie and today I'm going to be showing and swatching and comparing the new Light Slacker, the Tortoise set. Look how pretty the packaging is. It's like a very matte finish. And then this is the back. This is so exciting because this is their first quad so I cannot wait for them to come out with more quads. I just like the length of this box. I know that's super weird but it's so freaking cute. Um, anyways, let me just address the elephant in the room. Yes, I did dye my hair. It's a very very teal color now. <laughs> I did film a video dyeing my hair, but I just had to film this first and post it before that video. Let's just pretend like my hair is normal still. You guys will see that video eventually, so just keep your eyes open for that. So if you guys have never seen these type of videos before, I do nail comparisons with other light slacker polishes. I do the swatches of all the polishes in the collection. And then at the very end, I do a ranking from my least to my most favorite colors just for fun. So please don't forget to let me know what your ranking is. All right, so before I begin this video, I just want to let you guys know that I will be doing a huge giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to be selecting multiple winners so you guys have a really high chance of winning the giveaway. So don't forget to subscribe, give this a like, and leave me a comment. That helps out so much with the algorithm of my little channel so I would really really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, let's just jump back into the video. Okay, so the first shade is Leonardo which is the lightest shade. It's like a creamy kind of white color. By the way, these are all jellies, so they're not going to be super opaque colored. Okay, so Leonardo is described as a translucent cream with yellow undertones. And for these quads, I only did three coats because the purpose of it is to be transparent. So I wanted to make it as opaque as I could without taking away the actual purpose of the jelly. So I was kind of taken aback of how much I liked this color because I usually don't go for really light shades like this. I just felt so fancy wearing it. So for this one, I compared it to yours truly because I feel like in the bottle they look so similar and I figured that's what everyone would want me to compare it to. So yours truly is the first comparison but you can tell how different it is not only because of the finish. Obviously Leonardo is a jelly. Leonardo is a lot lighter and like yellowier. Yours truly just looks more olivey tones. So after yours truly I did Mia because that's like the next lightest shade in light slacker. Well besides the paper snow. Yeah completely different colors. Mia is so much more like cool toned I guess and Leonardo is just more yellowy and then the last comparison I did was Catching Fireflies because it also looked similar-ish in the bottle but obviously Catching Fireflies is a lot more yellow and more neon okay so the next color in the quad is gonna be Michelangelo which is this very caramelly kind of color Okay, so Michelangelo is described as a translucent caramel with yellow undertones. Honestly, this color reminds me so much of those like cube caramel candies. Oh my god, I used to love that as a kid. Like I said before, I did three coats of this one as well just because it is a jelly and it's meant to be translucent. So out of all the colors in this collection, this one was the hardest to compare to any other color in Light Slacker just because there is nothing like it. So the comparisons look a little wacky and it's super weird but this is the best that I can do with what we have. So the first one that I compared it to was gingerbread and I feel like gingerbread reminded me of it because it is like a translucent jelly finish so I guess that's why I kind of felt like it needed to be compared to that. Even though it's so different you can tell how much more orange and warm gingerbread is. So after gingerbread I feel like this is where it gets weird. I compared it to Mr. Brightside. I don't know when I first swatched it I thought it looked similar enough I guess to be compared to Mr. Brightside but I just wanted to put it there so you guys can see how much more yellow Michelangelo is and trust me there is nothing like Michelangelo so it was so hard to compare this color and then the last one that I did is Unagi just because it had like that warm brownie kind of color okay so the next color in the collection is gonna be Raphael which is the more reddish shade of the collection so Raphael is described as a rich brown with red undertones. I was really shocked of how much I like this color. It just looks like such a pretty red browny color. So the first one that I compared Raphael to was A Mysterious Affair because I feel like out of all of the light slacker polishes that's the most similar one to Raphael. But you can tell how different it is. Obviously 
a Mysterious Affair is a creme finish, but it does have a similar vibe to it. So after a Mysterious Affair, I did Foley's and Nonsense because it is like a reddish kind of color, even though it has a ton of glitters on it, but I feel like it was worth comparing it against because it does have like that reddish undertones. This one was like the second hardest to compare apart from Michelangelo. Like towards the end, you can see that I compared it to the butler. I had no idea what to compare it with. I was going to compare it with like Cherry Jelly or Lucy, but it looked ridiculous compared it to them because Lucy and Cherry Jelly are so 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 red that I feel like the butler made more sense to compare it to because it does have like that warmth like muted kind of color to it so I hope that helps I know the butler is like literally a brown and Rafael is a red but I just felt like in the end it would be like a good point of view to see the butler next to Rafael okay so the very last shade of the quad is gonna be Donatello and it's the darkest shade of the quad Okay, so Donatello is described as a translucent walnut brown and I know every person literally thought it looked just like Olivia in the bottle but oh my god, once you guys see the comparisons, you will see how completely different it is. These are all jellies, so the colors that I'm comparing them to are not jellies. That's like a big difference in itself. So if you see the comparisons, you can see how much more earth toned Olivia is. And Donatello is just like way, way more translucent. And it has like a more like reddish undertone, if that makes any sense. So after Olivia, I compared it to Aliana because Aliana is like the second darkest color besides, you know, like the blacks. I haven't swatched Aliana in such a long time. So when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, this color is beautiful. It's like such a pretty round color. So I feel kind of like dumb for not using it so I might have to use it soon. I kind of like ran out of options and I put Cortadito as the last comparison but it does kind of like help you know because you can see how dark Donatello is and I don't know I just I think out of all the comparisons that one was the one that I was most proud of because they're all like actual browns. All right so before we end this video I'm gonna tell you guys my ranking from my least to my most favorite. Okay so I feel like my least favorites out of the quad not that i don't like it at all just the least that i will probably use is gonna be michelangelo i don't know why my specific reason for this one is but because i love the color is very very pretty but i just feel like i wouldn't use it as much as the other ones honestly before i even continue this ranking i have never done tortoise nails ever i've never actually been a real fan of the tortoise aesthetic but this has definitely intrigued my interest to do a tortoise nail so maybe I will do it and like post it on my IG so I'm gonna try I feel like it'll be so bad because I'm not a nail artist so we'll see how that looks okay so my third place is gonna have to be Donatello I actually really like this color I feel like in my comparisons I did it really dark I would definitely do like one or two coats and I feel like that would look so pretty all right so my second place is gonna be Leonardo when I was watching this like I said before I was in impressed of how much I miss wearing really light shades on my nails. I feel like this is gonna bring me back to that. I got super excited so now I do want to do light nails on my hands at least again. Okay, last but not least, my favorite out of the quad is gonna have to be Raphael. I like this one because it's so unique and different than anything I've ever seen. Out of all the tortoise-like colors, I know there's a cream, there's like a yellowy one, and then there's like a red one, and I feel like that one's my favorite one. I have to try to do the tortoise nail, so wish me luck! Alright guys, that is it for this video. I hope I was able to help you out in some way. If you like the tortoise, jelly, translucent kind of colors, you cannot miss out on this set. I feel like you guys would love it. Please let me know what your ranking is. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway once I hit 1,000 subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I will see you on the next one.